Okay, we are looking at writing a biography now. My learning objective, I can write a biography. A biography is when we are learning about somebody else, okay? So somebody who is real, someone who has existed, we are finding out all about them. Do you think that makes it a fiction or non-fiction piece of work? Pause. Obviously, it's a non-fiction piece of work because we're talking about real things, we're talking about facts here. So, biography writing. Now, if I was writing about myself, it would be called an autobiography. So if I'm talking about the things that I've done through my life, autobiography. But here we are researching somebody else. And you can research whoever you want. Now, I was looking into a few people, uh, and I was gonna choose Emmeline Pankhurst to start with, who is a really inspirational person. She uh, was the woman behind the suffragette movement, and you can go and research a little bit about that. Really interesting. There are a group of women who, believe it or not, in, in Britain, uh, just over a hundred years ago, women weren't able to vote in the same way that men were. And they were the women who said, that's ridiculous, we are equal humans, and they managed to get the vote. So by 1918, uh, in Britain, the vote was, uh, was gained by uh, women. And so Emily Pankhurst, really inspirational woman. Uh, then I thought maybe we'll go for um, Amelia Earhart, who is, uh, she was one of the first women, she was the first woman, sorry, to cross the Atlantic by plane. You think to yourself, hmm. We can cross the Atlantic, that's easy, I go on plane all over the place. Well, she did, did this in 1928, okay, and it was a huge thing. She was the woman, she flew all the way across on her own, she managed to get it across the Atlantic. This was in the time when airplanes were just being invented and just being used, um, and it, just incredible what she achieved. And unfortunately, she got lost uh, at sea or she, she disappeared. Um, and then I decided that I'm going to write my biography on a woman who's a true inspiration to me, and just a woman I think is absolutely incredible. Her name is Noor uh, Inyat Khan, Noor Inyat Khan. Now Noor Inyat Khan uh, is a Muslim woman who was born in Russia in uh, 1914. I write her name nice and clear. If I'm gonna write a biography, I need a nice clear heading. So Noor uh, Inyat Khan. Now, I'm going to break it down using some of the techniques that I've been looking at in some of the other videos. So I'm going to be using subheadings for this. And one of the things I want to do is I probably want to talk initially uh, about her early life. So one of my first subheadings might be early life. Now, as I said, she was born in 1914. So these are some of the details I want to include. You're going to write as full sentences, but I'm just going to put a few points by a bullet point. So 1914, uh, she was born actually in Moscow, Russia. Her father was a Muslim man from India. Her mum was actually an American, but she was raised as a, a quite a strict pacifist uh, Muslim. So she had a, a, a nice upbringing. But unfortunately, uh, in 1930 in Europe, uh, you might know about the Second World War, a man called Hitler became quite aggressive and started attacking other countries. And she saw all this bombing and she saw the devastation and she was really conflicted with the peace that she believed in from her uh, Islamic scripture and not fighting and not killing, but then seeing that so much destruction was happening. And she decided that the only way to face up to such aggression was for her to do something about it. And so she actually flew to the UK. So early life, 1914, and I could talk about her parents and things. And then I might talk about um, young adults. Uh, I might have another period uh, in her life when she actually, she flew to, to the UK and she actually joined the army. She joined the Women's Auxiliary Air Force. Uh, I'll put here that she joined uh, the army. And she was a very talented woman. She was well educated. She actually spoke lots of different languages and she became really into radio and communication, which really helped the military out. So she was helping the British to win this war against the Germans. Um, and her skills were so good that actually the British Secret Service, they saw her and they thought, wow, she's a really important asset. She's got a big brain. Um, and because she could speak fluent French, they asked her if she would do something very daring. They wanted her to fly into France, which at the time had been taken over by the Nazis, and she wanted them to spy for the British. Pretend that she was a French woman who lived in Paris uh, and do work for the British. And she, being a very brave woman, she said, absolutely, I will do it. So she flew over to uh, Paris. So I can have a whole section here uh, about her time in Paris, because that was a big period of her life. Uh, so she uh, joined uh, the resistance. Well, actually, there wasn't really, uh, there wasn't really quite the French resistance at the time that she went over. 
uh, as, as we know it today. But she joined uh, supporting the French and supporting the British effort, and she was communicating through radio and Morse code all the information and all the things that she saw around her, which was really helping us so that we had an idea of what the Germans were doing. Well, all of her team in Paris got caught by the Germans. Uh, one by one, they were taken out and they were taken and they were arrested. And she managed to not be arrested to start with. She was a very clever woman. She used her instinct and her charm to convince the Germans that there was nothing wrong. Actually, there's a story about one day she was getting an aerial for her radio that she was putting on the building. Now, you'd think if a German soldier saw this, they would go, what are you doing? But she was very clever. And she spoke to them and she convinced the soldiers to help her put the aerial up, saying that she was so into music. Little did the Germans know this area was to help the British to win the war. Anyway, eventually, unfortunately, she did get caught. So I might have a whole section here on her capture, and then that would be another good subheading, wouldn't it? Um, and she was caught uh, by the Germans, unfortunately, and she was beaten and uh, she was attacked by them. Really horrible. But she didn't say anything, she didn't give anything away to the British, uh, to the Germans, sorry, about what the British were doing. She kept her mouth closed and she escaped. She got a screwdriver, she escaped from prison and she got out. Sadly, she got caught again and this time the Germans weren't so good. They tortured her something awful. They really beat her up, they did horrible things to her and still she stayed silent and she believed so much in freedom, that the, the people have, she believed so much in those values that us British people, British values stand for, that she didn't say a thing. And unfortunately she got sent to a concentration camp and there she was executed, which is really sad. And it said that the last thing that she shouted before uh, she was died was liberty, and uh, you know, that belief of the freedom of the individual. So an inspirational woman, someone who means a lot to me, a Muslim woman who fought so hard for the British during the war effort, who really helped, she was honoured greatly, and that's why I chose her as someone to write a biography on. These are the simple techniques you're going to want. Have a nice clear heading, break it down into subheadings, use bullet points if you want, but I want you writing in full sentences. A picture or any other information would be really good. I've broken it down, early life, young adult, her time in Paris, time with the capture. I might have something here about her, um, how she's affected other women in the future because her doing all those things, obviously, as well as Emily uh, Pankhurst, you know, it showed how women should be part of society. Uh, and so she's a real big inspiration. Anyway, you're gonna choose your person. I don't mind who it is. I want you to go and find out about them, research as much as you can do, get onto YouTube. There are lots of videos. There are all sorts of things you can do to find out about these people. And I would like you to write me your biography. Off you go.